Ah, good morning, Michael. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Smear. Yes, well, we'll dispense with the good mornings, if you don't mind. I haven't got time for good mornings. As you wish. No, um, you wanted to discuss something with me. I think you know why I'm here. I don't think I do. Tell him. Tell me what? Tell him what you told your mother last night. Come on, come on. <laughs> Sexual intercourse. Can often bring about pregnancy in the adult female. Can often bring about pregnancy in the adult female, yes. <laughs> yes? You heard that, did you? Yes. Yes, well, I'd like an explanation if it's not too much trouble. <laughs> an explanation of what? An explanation of how my son came to be using language like that in front of his mother. <laughs> Well, I, um, I assume it's something that Michael's been learning in his biology classes, is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, with, with Mr. Hent. Glad to see some of it's sinking in. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a turn-up and no mistake. <laughs> what is? I didn't imagine you'd be quite so barefaced about it. About what? I came here today to make a complaint about my son being exposed to gutter language in the playground, I am frankly staggered to find that this is something he's actually been taught in a classroom. I mean, what is going on here? Well, we're trying to teach your son. How... Oh, oh, are you indeed? Trying to teach him what? How to embarrass his parents? How to smack himself with heroin? What? <laughs> Mr Smear, I can assure you we have no... You call yourself a school? Well, I don't actually call myself a school. <laughs> of yourself filling a young lad's head with filth like that. Well, let me tell you something about the real world. You're here to provide a service. Well, that's, that's quite right. Oh, well, that's quite right. Yes, well, I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with the service you're providing. <laughs> would you rather that Michael didn't attend biology classes? Well, certainly I would, if those are the kind of lies I could expect to hear repeated at the dinner table. <laughs> They're not lies, Mr Smear. Oh, aren't they? Aren't they? What? Sexual intercourse can bring about pregnancy in the adult female? Well, that's quite true. <laughs> True, my ass. <laughs> it's nothing more than a disgusting rumour put about by trendy young people in the 60s. <laughs> trendy young people in their 60s? In the 60s, in the 60s. That's when it all started, people like you. <laughs> I can assure you, Mr Smear, that uh, sexual reproduction has been part of the biology syllabus for many years. I don't care about your blasted syllabus. What good is a blasted syllabus out there? Out uh, where? Out there! The Arkwright Road. <laughs> Arkwright Jungle, I call it. Well, what would, what would you rather we taught your son? I would rather... I would rather you taught him values, Mr... Uh, Casalingua. Values! <laughs> Respect, decency, standards. That's what you're here for. You're not here to poison my son with a lot of randy sex talk. <laughs> Michael definitely is your son, is he? Well, certainly is my son. Well, then it's safe to assume that at some stage you and Mrs. Smear must have had sexual intercourse. Right, that's it. I've had enough of this. I'm, I'm going to knock some sense into you myself. Well, you're going to fight me now, eh? Yes, I bloody well am. <laughs> I'm not going to stand for this. Well, do you mind if I do? Talking like that in front of the boy, you're a bloody disgrace. <laughs> Mr. Smear, how can Michael be your son if you and Mrs. Smear have not had sexual intercourse? Michael is my son. Yes. <laughs> in the normal way. Ah. And what, in your opinion, is the normal way to have a son? If you're trying to trick me into sexy talk... <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> well, the normal way to have a son is to get married, mm -hmm. uh, buy a house, get properly settled in, uh, <laughs> furniture and so on, and, um, and just wait for a bit. Right. Uh, make sure you eat properly, three hot meals a day. Three hot meals? Hot meals, yes. Okay. And Michael just sort of um, popped up, did he? Yes, well, of course, it's a few years ago now, but I think, uh, yes, one day he was just there. And at no stage did you or Mrs Smear engage in any act of sexual intimacy? Yes. It's very hard for you to believe, isn't it? It's very hard for you to believe that there's still some of us who can bring a child into this world without recourse to cannabis and government handouts. <laughs> No, I bet you don't. It's not every day a consumer stands up to you and makes demands, is it? Well, not of this nature, sir. No, well, <laughs> welcome to the harsh realities of the marketplace, Mr. Casalingua. <laughs> right, OK, so what do you want me to do? Well, it's perfectly obvious, isn't it? Not to me. Well, I mean, if, if I go to Littlewoods and, and say that I'm not happy with a, uh, a cardigan, for example, well, they'll change it for me, and gladly. You want me to change your son? <laughs> I do. Mine is soiled now. Um, I'm afraid we don't have any spare sons. Typical, isn't it? 
Well, what have you got of equal value? <laughs> oh, we have got some uh, locusts in the biology lab. <laughs> locusts? Hmm. Do I have your assurance that these locusts will not embarrass Mrs. Smear at table with foul language? <laughs> you think I can go that far? How many of them are there? Well, there are two at the moment. Uh... What do you mean, at the moment? <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, um, they're, they're married, you see, and they've um, bought their own cage and uh, <laughs> some furniture and have settled down and are having three meals a day. Hot meals? Warmish. <laughs> Thank you. So Mrs Smear might one day become a grandmother? It's a distinct possibility. <laughs> She'd like that. <laughs>